All right, guys, so today we find ourselves under the hood of the old GMC again. But not too long ago, if you watched one of my videos, had some work done on this uh, truck and they bent the oil dipstick and apparently supposedly fixed it, but it's still rough to check the oil. What we're gonna do, we're going to take this dipstick brace right there. There's a bolt right there. We're gonna let that loose and uh it should come on up we'll show you on the new one make sure it matches actually about to open it up all right comes with a new seal that's good these are the part numbers that... one piece let me zoom out on it so let's take the old one out hopefully it won't break off at the bottom all right so we're gonna take a 15 little extension let's see how tight this sucker is Seated. Not too bad. Well, it's a lot longer than I expected. Got out. Yep. Gently wiggle the sucker around. See what we got. Well, that was nice. Guess I could have took the dipstick out let's compare the two so they're not exact I mean they're they're pretty close but uh, we'll see how it fits in there otherwise about the same same distance as far as the seal right there to the lip um, once it's in there it's the same it's close enough here's the problem where they kinked it. Man, I'm telling you. They even admitted, it, said, oh, we, we straightened it out though. Well, every time I go to check the wool, it binds. It. The last thing I wanna do is now break this and then be replacing those. All right, we worked it uh, in the neighborhood. You see the brace, it's close to the hole and it's right behind that third spark plug. I'm gonna go underneath if I can guide it into the hole without getting any junk in the way. Let's take a look from the bottom side. All right, let's see if I can manage to show you guys. You can see the dipstick coming down right there. That black, shiny. Let's go over here on this side. And uh, you can see it right, right there. Um, there's the tip end. And where we need to go, right there where my flashlight, right there where my flashlight is in front of, that little, there's a little nipple right there. I just guided it from the bottom. We're gonna push it from up above gently, see if it goes. I guess it's in right there. Let's see if I got the hole lined up. I think I do actually. I'm not gonna lie guys, finding the section to go into was no problem it was seating it with the rubber gasket in. I have pushed and try not to bend this rod, finagle in there and not get it to bend in the wrong kind of way. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was a bit of a booger. I know I'm sweaty, it's about 100 degrees out here. Uh, kind of grip and uh, push in and get it into the section to be seated. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, finish it up, bolt it up and test it out. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple job unless you break that stick, the original one under there. Obviously, you want to get it snug, but not too tight that uh, you strip it. And by golly, let's see how the dipstick goes in. Yeah, so now the dipstick feels more like original. Well, guys, it looks like it worked. I don't see any leaks. Uh, the seal was pretty tight, which is good, but it made it a booger to to push essentially you're trying to push on this rod while getting it to seat make sure that that rubber piece is in down to here anyway hope that was helpful catch y'all on the next one guys